Hey, welcome to a new video. Imagine setting foot on an island and realizing that you're not the only resident. Islands inhabited only by animals are fascinating destinations for nature lovers and wildlife enthusiasts, where you get the chance to see animals in their natural habitat. Today we show you 20 islands inhabited by only animals. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. The quokka is a cute and cheerful marsupial found only on Rottnest Island in Western Australia. Their story is deeply rooted in the land as the island's name was given by Dutch explorers of the 17th century who mistook the animals for large rats and called it Rat's Nest. If you want to see quokkas in their natural habitat, Rottnest Island is the place to go. The animals are scattered throughout the island, and they are common in popular spots such as the pub, bakery, and the beach, known as the Rotto Trifecta. Although these seem friendly and happy, it's important to remember that they are wild animals, and you should not try to hug or feed them. Quokkas are the only member of the genus Cetonyx and have an unusual facial expression that resembles a smile. They appear mainly at night, but the lack of natural predators on the island has caused them to appear more and more frequently during the day. Number 19. The wild horses of Assateague Island have become famous, with many people believing them to be survivors of a shipwreck. However, it's more likely that they are descended from domesticated horses brought to the area by mainland owners in the 17th century to avoid tax and fence laws. Assateague Island's horses are wild animals, and petting or feeding them can be dangerous. Visitors should keep at least 30 feet or 10 meters away from the horses and not bring food onto the beach unless it's in a locked cooler or secured with a nylon leash. Feeding can cause health problems, and horses that are near roads and people are often hit by cars. Although horses are beautiful, strong, and wild, they are also wild animals that behave differently than domesticated horses. Therefore, it's important to treat them with respect and give them the space they need to be wild both for their well-being and the safety of visitors. Number 18. Rabbit Island, also known as Okunushima, is a small island located in the inland sea of Japan that is home to a large population of wild rabbits. The island has become a popular tourist attraction, especially for visitors who love animals. During World War II, Rabbit Island served as a secret military base for the Japanese military's chemical weapons program. After the war, the island was abandoned, and the rabbits were released by workers who had taken care of them. Over time, the rabbit population grew, and today visitors can see hundreds of wild rabbits roaming the island. The rabbits are very friendly and approachable, and they often come to visitors for food and attention. Number 17. Seal Island is a small rocky island located in False Bay, South Africa, and is home to a huge population of roughly 64,000 Cape Fur seals. It's also an excellent location for bird watching, and is known for great white shark attacks on seals. The island is only accessible by boat, and it's illegal to walk on it, which has helped preserve its natural beauty. The Cape Fur Seal is the largest and most robust fur seal, and is legally protected in South Africa. They move in large groups and have a breeding season from November to December, and nearly 20,000 young are born each year. The surrounding water is a breeding ground for sharks, and Seal Island has become a popular destination for shark cage diving and to watch the predator-prey interaction between sharks and seals. Number 16. Are you a fan of flamingos? Then you should definitely visit Flamingo Beach in Aruba, as it's one of the few places in the world where you can see them. Located near the Renaissance Hotel, this private beach is accessible by a fast speedboat ride from the mainland. Although it can be a bit pricey, the day pass includes a delicious lunch and a cocktail at one of the beach bars. The beach is a great place to relax and sunbathe while watching the Flamingos Parade. And if you're lucky, they might walk right past your beach chair. Although the Flamingos are the stars of the show, there are plenty of other amazing animals to see as well. Number 15. Monte Cristo Island is a protected nature reserve located in the Tucson Archipelago National Park. Although inhabited only by an official warden and his family, the island is currently facing a major ecological threat. An estimated one rat per square meter has infiltrated the island's delicate ecosystem, while they are reproducing rapidly. To solve the crisis, Italian and European government agencies have announced an ambitious plan to drop 26 tons of pesticide pellets from airplanes. 
The pellets contain bradyfacum, an anticoagulant poison classified as highly toxic. These are intended to eradicate the black rats that have taken over the island. The proposal, however, has drawn fierce opposition from ecological groups and even a former world diving champion. They have called for the halt on the project, demanding a government investigation and arguing that a less toxic solution should be used to eradicate the rats without harming the environment or the food chain. Number 14. Tashirojima Island off the coast of Japan is cat lovers' paradise. The furry residents were originally brought to the island to protect silkworms from rats, but over time, the cats have multiplied, and today they are more than a and today there are more than a hundred cats roaming freely around the island. These semi-feral cats are comfortable around people and often approach visitors, pose for photos, and even accompany walkers on the island's scenic hiking trails. However, the island has much more to offer than just its cat residence. Visitors can make a pilgrimage to the cat shrine, built in honor of a cat killed by a falling rock. In addition, visitors can stay at Manga Island, an area filled with various artistic cat accommodations. However, if you plan to visit the island, be sure to check ferry departure and pickup times, as there are limited tourist facilities offering food, drinks, or public restrooms. But if you're a cat lover looking for a unique, cat-filled vacation, Tashirojima Island is a perfect destination. Number 13. Welcome to the Island of Dragons. Komodo Island is the ultimate destination for adventurers and nature lovers, with breathtaking landscapes and unique wildlife found nowhere else in the world. The mighty Komodo dragons are the main attraction on this island. A feast for the eyes, the enormous lizards can grow up to 3 meters long and weigh more than 154 pounds, or 70 kilograms. Don't be fooled by their slow movements. These predators are lightning-fast runners and swimmers with excellent vision that can spot prey from about 1,000 feet or 300 meters away. Their method of killing is nothing short of impressive, surrounding their prey and waiting patiently until the poison in their saliva slowly kills their victim. In addition to the Komodo dragons, Komodo National Park offers numerous activities, such as exploring flora and fauna. Getting to the island of Flores requires a boat ride. Once there, you can relax on the pink sandy beaches of the Buan Bajo. Number 12. Have you ever wanted to swim with pigs instead of dolphins? Well, now you can make your dream come true on Pig Island, also known as Major K in the Bahamas. These feral pigs are a popular attraction and love to splash around with visitors who bring them snacks. Who needs cute dolphins to cuddle with when you can pet a pig? This unique experience has become very popular on social media. Although they are wild pigs, there's no need to worry. These pigs are more down to earth than your average reality star. Visitors can take boat rides and enjoy swimming and snorkeling with their new pig friends. And if you're lucky, you might spot a few stray cats and goats chilling on the island. So forget the beach and head to Pig Island for a unique vacation. Number 11. When Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico in 2017, the island was left in ruins, leaving its citizens without basic necessities, such as food and water. But amid all the devastation, there was one group of residents who seemed to remain seemingly unscathed, the monkeys of Monkey Island. These 1,500 Rasus macaques who call the 38-acre island their home are descendants of the original group of monkeys imported from India in the 1930s for scientific research. Although many feared the worst for the monkeys after the hurricane, staff at the Caribbean Primary Research Center were surprised to discover that they had survived the storm. The monkeys, each weighing about 20 pounds or 9 kilograms and known for their long, fluffy tails, had weathered the storm by seeking shelter on the island's two hills and staying close to the ground. Although Monkey Island is not open to tourists, researchers from all over the world come to study the monkeys. In addition, the island has an extensive database that continues more than 60 years of data on their behavior. In addition, the island has an extensive database that contains more than 60 years of data on their behavior, demographics, genetics, and physiological changes. These studies help us better understand human social interaction and health, and how adversity and trauma can affect an individual's life. Number 10. Hidden off the coast of Brazil is an island that looks like a tropical paradise, but beneath its picturesque surface lurks a danger that makes even the bravest adventurers shudder. 
Isla de Quimera Grande, or Snake Island as it is commonly known, is home to between 2,000 and 4,000 golden lancehead snakes, one of the deadliest and most endangered snakes in the world. These venomous predators can kill a person within an hour with their incredibly powerful and efficient venom, which is three to five times stronger than that of any snake on the mainland. Their population has exploded because there are no predators on the island to hunt them, so they climbed up to feed on migratory birds that pass by the island during their long flights. This isolated island was cut off from mainland Brazil thousands of years ago when sea levels rose and flooded the island. The golden lancehead snakes adapted to their new environment and evolved in isolation to become the most dangerous snakes in the world. As a result, the island is now off limits to the public, and only the Brazilian Navy and selected researchers have access to this terrifyingly fascinating place. The island has now become a laboratory for biologists and researchers who are given special permission to study the golden lancehead snakes and hope to better understand them. Number 9. Imagine stepping off the coast of Dublin onto a private island and being greeted by a hopping marsupial instead of a sheep or cow. This is the reality of Lambay Island, which has been home to a population of red-necked wallabies for several decades. The island is owned by the Baring family, and the fluffy animals were introduced in the 1950s by Rupert Baring. However, the population took off after seven more wallabies were transferred from Dublin Zoo in the 1980s. Although not a native species to Ireland, their population is estimated to be in the hundreds, and they graze mainly on the island's grasslands. Visitors can catch glimpses of kangaroo-like animals, which move quickly and are very poised. They usually emerge at sunset and can be difficult to see, but it's worth the effort to see these elusive animals in their natural habitat. Don't expect to see them in the wild on the mainland, however, as their presence can have serious consequences as invasive species. Number 8. Imagine a small island where only animals live. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale, but it is reality in some places around the world. One such place is Runde Island in Norway, home to thousands of seabirds, including the adorable Atlantic puffins. Puffins are known for their wise, sad-looking eyes and are considered one of the cutest birds in the world. An encounter with these creatures is a memory that will stay with you all of your life. Runde Island is the perfect place for such an adventure. With an estimated 100,000 puffins calling the island home during the breeding season, you are sure to have an unforgettable experience. Although Runde Island may be small, it has much to offer. Visitors can hike to the bird cliffs, explore natural trails, and even search for treasures from a Dutch ship that sank off the coast in the 18th century. It's no wonder Runde Island is one of the best places in Norway to see puffins. Number 7. On the island of Kauai in Hawaii, it's not unusual to see wandering flocks of wild chickens, but the origins of these birds are a bit of a mystery. Although they are believed to be a mix of red forest fowl, fighting birds, and domesticated breeds, there is still much debate about how they became so abundant on the island. Interestingly, the lack of mongooses on Kauai has played a role in the proliferation of wild chickens. These predatory mammals were introduced to control the rat population, but instead turned out to prey on the chickens and their eggs. With no mongooses to worry about, the chickens were able to multiply easily. Although many tourists enjoy the wild chickens, they are not loved by everyone. Some residents consider them a pest, especially since their presence can cause traffic hazards and threaten native plant and bird species with disease. Unfortunately, the downside of the wild chicken phenomenon has to do with the cockfighting, which is banned but still practiced in Kauai, and has contributed to the breeding of aggressive chicken species. Number 6. On remote Go Island in South Atlantic, sailors accidentally introduced house mice during the 19th century. These tiny rodents have since taken over the island and learned to eat almost anything, including seabirds. Unfortunately, the presence of the mice causes long-term population declines in three globally endangered bird species that call the island home. The increase in predatory behavior by the house mice, known as Moose musculus, is increasing and poses a significant threat to the island's biodiversity. Other species of seabirds on Go Island are also at risk of being preyed upon the mice. As a result, the island has been designated as the highest priority for eradication of invasive exotic vertebrates in British overseas territories. Studies have shown that eradicating mice could be successful, 
and the RSPB and Tristan Island Council plan to begin this soon. Urgent action is needed if Go Island's bird population is to survive. Number 5 Deep in the South Atlantic Ocean lies South Georgia Island, a remote and wild place that is home to some of the most incredible wild populations of penguins. As you approach the island, the first thing you notice is the sheer number of king penguins. With more than 500,000 breeding pairs, this is the largest colony of king penguins in the world. These elegant birds waddle and glide across the snow and rocks, glistening in the sunlight. But it wasn't always like this. The island was once the site of a large whaling industry that nearly wiped out populations of whales, seals, and other marine mammals. Today, South Georgia Island is a protected wildlife sanctuary, allowing these animals to thrive once again. South Georgia Island is also home to some of the largest elephant seals in the world, with males weighing up to 8,800 pounds, or 4,000 kilograms. These enormous creatures sunbathe and occasionally raise their heads up to roar and show their dominance. In addition to its rich wildlife, South Georgia Island is also known for its breathtaking natural landscape, towering mountains, and glaciers, which create a stunning sight for the animals that live there. Number 4 Stingray City is a popular tourist attraction in the north-south of Grand Cayman and the Cayman Islands. It's a shallow sandbar where visitors can view southern stingrays, which are abundant in the area. The sandbars are in shallow waters, and one is deep enough for visitors to dive with the stingrays. The collection of stingrays in the area may have begun decades ago, when fishermen navigated to the site after trips behind a reef and cleaned their fish in the calm waters of the shallow waters and sandbars. The fish innards and squid were thrown overboard, and the stingrays eventually congregated to eat there. Soon, the stingrays associated the sound of a boat engine with food, and when this practice became a tradition, divers realized the stingrays could be fed by hand. Today, tour and excursion boats, along with private watercrafts, gather in large numbers at Stingray City. Number 3 If you're planning a trip to Shidoshi Island in Japan, add the Miyagi Zao Fox Village to your destination. This unique sanctuary is home to more than 100 playful and adorable foxes, ranging from typical red and arctic foxes to silver and platinum foxes. Visitors can enter an open area to interact with the animals and feed them with food specially purchased on the site. Be careful to not pet or hand feed them, however, as they can bite. But that's not all. The village also houses rabbits, miniature horses, goats, and guinea pigs, making it a true paradise for animal lovers. Despite being called the cutest place on Earth, the island has received criticism for its high density of foxes, trapped animals, and sanitary problems. Would you want to visit this island? Number 2 During World War II, Ramry Island was the scene of the chilling battle between British and Japanese troops. But it wasn't just enemy fire the Japanese soldiers had to fear. As they retreated through the mangrove swamps, they were besieged and attacked by one of nature's deadliest predators, the saltwater crocodile. These huge reptiles, which weigh more than a ton and can grow 23 feet or 7 meters long, lurked in the murky waters, waiting for the chance to strike. The Japanese soldiers were no match for these ferocious predators, which were not afraid to become aggressive towards humans, especially if they were hungry. Hundreds of crocodiles silently snuck up on their prey and attacked with incredible speed. The soldiers tried to defend themselves, but their cries were quickly stifled as they succumbed to the nighttime threat of the saltwater crocodiles. After only a few days, more than 500 Japanese soldiers had been devoured by the ferocious beasts. Of the 1,000 soldiers who had entered the mangrove swamps, only 480 survived. The slaughter of Romri Island is one of the most gruesome and brutal crocodile attacks in history, and it shows that you should never underestimate the power of nature. Number 1 Get ready to see one of the most remarkable natural processes on Earth. The mass migration of Christmas red crabs on Christmas Island in Australia. Every year, millions of these large crabs emerge from the forest and swarm over roads, streams, rocks, and beaches to migrate to the ocean and mate. The migration begins with the first rains of the wet season, usually in October or November, but sometimes as late as December or January. After an arduous journey from the plateau, the larger male crabs usually arrive at the sea first. 
The females join them along the way, and after mating, they stay in damp burrows for about two weeks while the eggs develop. Each female crab can produce up to 100,000 eggs, which she holds in a brood pouch. When the moon reaches its last quarter, the egg-laden crabs leave their burrows and gather on the shoreline, packed into shady spots above the waterline. In some places, you can see up to 100 crabs per 3 square feet, or square meter. As the high tide begins to rise before dawn, the crabs migrate out to sea and release their eggs before returning to the forest. Which of these islands would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.